All right, today we have a 2001 Ski Centurion. We'll be changing the fuel filter on the 5.7 liter Merc Cruiser. We got the new fuel filter, which is pretty easy to swap out, but today we're gonna be putting the new housing assembly in here. I already put the plugs in here and here. So it's important if you don't know where your hoses go, when you mark them or when you remove it, you wanna mark them. This is your fuel line going in. This is your fuel line going out. It's pretty easy to follow where the hoses go. There's two bolts here where that is mounted on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and I'm gonna be reusing these brass uh, fittings here. So I'll just take those off, clean them up, reuse them. I already disconnected the, the brackets on the uh, hoses here. And I decided I better throw this on YouTube since I couldn't find any videos on YouTube. Anyways, I'll continue here to the next step. Okay, pop both these hoses off. If yours are a little stubborn, squeeze them with a pair of pliers. Hit a little, little silicone spray. Squeeze, twist, twist, squeeze, pull. They'll come off. Next, before I do the mounting bolts, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the fuel filter, um, just so I can get the fuel out of there, not make a mess. And then uh, we'll be taking these. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and remove these uh, brass grommets while it's still attached. <clears throat> then maybe I'll just take those fuel filter, uh, the brackets off, keep it upright, and dispose. Okay, got that little brass fitting off. Now I'm gonna proceed to remove these two bolts. Get the mounting bracket off. Dispose of the entire filter. Since I got a new bracket, new filter, new housing assembly, we'll just slap that back on. So we'll be back when I get this off. Don't have extra hands, not a professional. Just a professional dad doing amazing things, to amazing stuff to keep things going. For daily adventures so i threw these in my vise makes it a little easier clean it off got a cheap little little brush here and uh yeah so i'll be cleaning both of these up good this one's already uh pretty cleaned up just gotta finish this one off throw them back on okay got one of the brass fittings back in you're gonna want to put a couple uh rounds of uh, pipe thread on there. Tighten it, straighten it, orient it the way you want it, the way it was before, back to your hoses. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. All right, got our hoses reattached. Slid on there pretty easily. Mounting bolts went on pretty easy. For those of you wondering, the old one, I got it drained in a bucket there. For you guys, you know, start commenting that I just threw it in the trash. Didn't do that. It's in a bucket. All right. Well, all I got to do is put this uh, quick silver fuel filter part right back on there. Water separating. And uh, before you do that, you want to just put a thin coat of uh, oil on this rubber seal there um, and I'm also gonna fill it up with uh, fill it up with a little bit of gasoline so you just pre prime it so um, yeah about wrapping this thing up thanks for watching all right there it is fuel filter back on bolts tightened only thing left to do fire up check her for any leaks Thanks for watching.
see any leaks. We're looking good. Tune in to my next video. Next video we're going to do an impeller. We just did an oil change. Fresh oil as well.